travel abroad, abroad. For example, Tenerife, it is beautiful and hot at the moment and the sun is shining in Lisbon. It's also beautiful and warm there. But further afield over towards the near continent, it is very, very cold. These are the top temperatures we'll see today, minus 6 for Vienna and for Warsaw. And it stays pretty cold for us yet again today. We have got a warning for further snow making its way in from the south through this evening. And that will give treacherous driving conditions with ice developing on many roads through the early hours of tomorrow morning. And that's thanks to this system pushing its way northwards, bumping into the colder air. North of here this afternoon, it's a sunny story, but still further heavy snow showers for western Scotland and into the northwest of England. Those falling onto cold surfaces will yet again give the risk of ice. But there will be some significant rainfall pushing up from the south. We've already seen it giving some sleet and snow across the Salisbury Plain. Through rush hour, we'll see some snowfall across Berkshire, through Oxfordshire, up towards Norfolk. And as this falls onto the very cold surfaces, not just tricky driving conditions because of the visibility with the snow, we'll also see the risk of very icy roads developing. And those icy conditions will develop as we head through the early hours of tomorrow morning when the sky is clear and those temperatures start to plummet. And yet again, a very cold night for many of us, well below freezing, minus 4 to minus 6 degrees and there the town centre temperatures. One thing we'll notice tomorrow morning, it won't be that beautiful, crisp, sunny start we've been used to. There'll be a lot of freezing fog around. So some very grey skies, a lot of low cloud around first thing tomorrow. Still some outbreaks of rain for the southeast, and where that rain will have fallen overnight tonight, the chance of it being very icy on those roads that will have been untreated. Well, we've got some showers making their way in towards the southwest of England and northern areas of Wales. Yet again, they'll mostly be of rain, perhaps sleet, but it's as they fall onto those cold freezing surfaces, we need to watch out for ice, not just on the roads, but also on those pavements. Generally, it's a beautiful sunny, if not chilly start for Northern Ireland. Some sunshine for the southwest of Scotland. In the north, still some snow showers, but some pretty dense freezing fog. And freezing fog is notoriously stubborn to clear. Gradually, we will see sunshine developing in the west, pushing its way eastward, skies slowly brightening, and a largely dry day tomorrow. The rain clears from the east. One or two snow showers in the northwest, but temperatures for some of us hovering around about freezing at best, where that snow continues to lay. Now, through tomorrow night, the sky is yet again clear and cold and dry, and it'll be another foggy start on Wednesday. Some snow showers continue in the north, very cold yet again, ones and twos by day, but four or five degrees in the southwest. But generally for most of us through the rest of the week on into Christmas, it stays pretty cold and icy as well, particularly first thing in the morning. So if you're traveling out and about first thing, certainly take care. We've always got most of our warnings up to date with regards to the weather on the new look BBC website.